2,748 divided by 24. A furniture company makes 2,748 couches. They have to ship them to families who bought them. Each family bought 24 couches. How many families are there that bought the couches? Our problem first introduces us to 2,748, which is our dividend. Our dividend is the first number because it's larger, which you divide. And here, in this case, our dividend is 2,748. And that is our dividend, which is the number that we divide. We divide our dividend by our divisor. In this case, our divisor is 24. It's 24 because it says each family bought 24 couches and a furniture company makes 2,748. So we're dividing this number into this number and we're making 24 groups of 24 couches and we're making that number out of 2,748. And our 24 groups of couches are over here, which is our divisor, the number that we're dividing. That equals the quotient. And our quotient is also known as the answer. And our answer is answering our question here, how many families are there that bought the couches? Which we don't know until we divide 2,748 by 24 and get our quotient. Identify your question. In our question, it tells us that there are groups which are families. In each family, they bought 24 couches. When one family has their 24 couches, like this, then we have a total of 24 couches given out. When another family gets their 24 couches, then you can add 24 to this number and you'll see that we've given out a total of 48 couches all together and these two families together have 48 couches. In our question it's asking us to keep adding more and more groups of the families to give couches to and so this will be another 24 couches over here and these three 24 couches will all go together and then you'll have 72 couches. You need to keep making more and more groups and giving more groups 24 couches until eventually with all the groups put together all of these and more your answer down here should be 2748 couches. This is an example of a grouping problem. The reason why this is a grouping problem is because it already tells you that it gives out 24 couches in each group. And you know how many there are per group. In the sharing question, it's asking how many per group. It didn't tell us how many groups there are total. And that's what we need to figure out. But it did tell us how many there are per group. And in a grouping question, you need to see how many groups there are, even though you know how many there are per group by dividing your two numbers. So we're making groups of 24 couches, and our amount of groups total in the end, the amount of families that there are in circles, when all these numbers added together equal 2,748 will be our answer. Now that we found out more about our two numbers and made sense of them, which are 24 
our divisor, and 2,748 our dividend, we can divide them. First, you have to figure out how many times your divisor goes into the first digit and making all the others zero of your dividend. So 24 goes into 2,748 about 100 times if you're making it an easy number to work with. So that would be 2,400. 2,400 is an easier number to work with since it adds, ends in zeros. So you can put 2,400 below and put 100 on top because that's the number you multiplied 24 by. Then when you subtract 2,748 by 2,400, you get 8 minus 0 is 8, 4 minus 0 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So you have the answer of 348. But you can't stop there because that's too big of a remainder and you can divide it more. So next you do 24 and how many times it goes into 348. Since 10 is also an easy number to work with, I did 10 times 24, which is 240. You get 240 and you have to subtract that from 348 and put a 10 on top because you used it and multiplied it by 24. And now you're subtracting this number by this number to get the next one down here. So first you do 8 minus 0 is 8. 4 minus 4 is 0. 3 minus 2 is 1, which is 108. 24 goes into 108 about four times. When you do 24 times four, you get four times four is 16 and you carry the one, and four times two is eight, and when you add the one, it's 96. So you have 96. When you subtract that from 108, and when you put the four on top, because the four is the number that you multiply by, you get 8 minus 6 is 2, and you can't do 0 minus 9, so you have to borrow and make that 10 minus 9 is 1, where you get 12. So up here, you have 110 and 4. Now you're going to add those all together to get 114, and 114 will be your answer and the amount of families or groups that you have. But 12 is your remainder, and so you'll have 12 families that do not get their 24 couches, and 114 that will be groups that get 24 in each group. In the end, our final answer is there are 114 families, 114 is our answer or our quotient, that bought 24 couches, which was our divisor, each with 12 families left over, and 12 is our remainder.